Japanesey. Time for your Japanese lesson. First, just relax and listen. They're both fish sellers, but they said it a little differently. Let's listen again. The first person said wa, and the second person said mo. Here's another scene. It's self introductions. Whoa, they all have the same name. But after the first person, the other two used mo. And this mo is today's topic. Japanesey. Hello, enjoying your Japanese studies? Once again, I'll show you how simple the structure of the Japanese language is. I'm sure you remember we already learned about self introductions. Simply put desu after your name. I'm Tsumugu, so I say Tsumugu desu. When introducing yourself as A wa B desu, for A, use Watashi. A word referring to yourself. Then say wa after that to say watashi wa tsumugu desu. Watashi wa tanaka desu. That's what we learned previously. Our topic today is mo. In this case, the name tanaka is the same for the three. So instead of wa, we use mo after the first time. The first person said wa. After that, the second and third person said mo. If there are more people named Tanaka, then it would all be mo. When you're saying the names of various fish, this is what it would be like. First, we use wa. If the next item is also a fish, we use mo. If you can master this rule, you can take your Japanese one step further. Japanesey! Tom is working hard at studying Japanese. It's his first time at a Japanese cafe. Wow. He got water even though he didn't order it. Water is mizu in Japanese. Now, listen carefully. Mizu wa tada desu ka? Hai. Mizu wa tada desu. Tom put ka after desu to make a question. Also, the word Tada means free of charge. Mizu wa tada desu ka? Hai, mizu wa tada desu. In Japan, many places serve water and green tea for free. If so, Way to go, Tom! When asking if the juice is also free, instead of using wa, he used mo. By the way, is the juice really free? Bummer! 
the juice isn't free. Iie means no. The server said, Tada ja arimasen, to say that it is not free. Now let's watch from the beginning. Mizu wa tada desu ka? Hai, Mizu wa tada desu. Juice mo tada desu ka? Iie, juice wa tada ja arimasen. Let's go over how Tom asked his questions. First, he said, Mizu wa tada desu ka? Using wa to ask. Next, he said, Juice mo tada desu ka? Since he asked if the juice was also free, he used mo. Do you understand the difference between wa and mo? Japanesey! Kanjizi. Today we'll learn kanji characters of face parts. Eye, nose, mouth, and ear. These four kanji represent these parts. Try to guess which kanji means what. First, which one is mouth? This is the answer. It's red, kuchi. The kanji for mouth is said to be based on the shape of a mouth. Then, can you guess which one is ear? Here's the answer. It's red, Mimi. Don't you think this kanji character looks like the shape of an ear? Now, just two left. I'm sure you can tell which one is eye. This is the answer. It's red, me. The kanji for eye is said to be based on the shape of an eye and used to be written on its side. The last one is nose. This kanji character is red, hana. You can imagine a nose that gradually sticks out. Imagining the features of each part can help you learn its kanji. Japanesey! How will we use mo this time? Katrina is good at Japanese. She's searching for cotton clothes to wear in spring. Cotton is koton in Japanese. First, she puts ka after desu to ask a question. Sumimasen. Hi. Kore wa koton desu ka? Hi. Kore wa koton desu. Kore mo koton desu ka? Hi. Kore mo koton desu. Mo appeared in the conversation. And kore means this. Here, it refers to the item that Katrina has in her hand. The answer is yes. Katrina asks if the other item is cotton too. When the answer is yes, the person answering also uses mo since cotton is repeated. 
コットンですかはいこれもコットンです But there's a lot of clothes here. What if the answer is no? これもコットンですかいえ、これはコットンじゃありません。ウールです。Since the repetition of cotton items has stopped, the man says wa and na mo. This is made from wool. Then what if things that aren't cotton are repeated? Ja, これはコットンですかいえ、これもコットンじゃありません。レイオンです。Since non-cotton items were repeated for the man, he uses も。If non-cotton items are repeated after this, he will use も。これはコットンですかいえ、これもコットンじゃありません。Do you understand? Use mo for repetitions and use wa if the repetition stops. It looks like Katrina finally found something she likes. This must be cotton. これはコットンですかこれはコットンですじゃあこれくださいありがとうございますうん、これもくださいありがとうございますこれもありがとうございますこれもも is used when the same item or phrase is repeated it's easy to use so don't forget これも Japanese. Let's learn useful Japanese phrases. Phrase easy. This is a Japanese sweet shop. The owner, David Thane, just loves the Japanese language. The shop staff, Ray, speaks English fluently. The customers here can't get enough of Japanese treats and talking about the Japanese language. Pete is a regular here. It seems he likes Ray. Hey, Ray.、Hmm? How about Friday? Wanna go to karaoke? I want you to hear my song. Yeah, 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 yeah! Ah, too bad. She said no. On the menu today, we have the expression chotto. Right, you know, when we're studying Japanese,、uh, we learned that chotto means like a little. So we might say,、um, have a little tea. But、uh, it also has another meaning, doesn't it?、Uh... For example, これ、なんとか明日までにお願いできませんかそれはちょっと。In this case, ちょっと is a word used to refuse a request. In the previous conversation, How about Friday? You wanna go to karaoke? 金曜日はちょっと。She said, I can on Friday, but she means not with you. Yeah, I didn't, didn't quite get it at first. I thought. Maybe she wants to go to karaoke with me a little bit.、Mm. But now I, I see that if I want to be polite and refuse something from somebody without you know, hurting their feelings, I can kind of soften the blow by using choto. Right, so actually, this word choto is really useful, isn't it? So, Lei Chan, if you want to say no to some guy, you can just say choto. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. 